so we have this compact Rosario 6027 US. Yes, well, technically it's shell because I don't have the front cover nor the side cover. The brackets are gone too, but apparently we're going to restore this computer to its factory defaults with an exception. Well, first time I tried to get it to work, it threw out an error saying, saying that it, this the recovery disk do not work for this model. Well, when it's clearly a, a 6027 US, a 6000 series lineup, I got the discs from Recovery Arc. I got the discs from the Internet Archive, so that's what I'll be using. So I had to crack them, but crack the first disc by by basically replacing the bootloader. And then when I tried to boot from the crack disc, it gave me a blue screen. So apparently, what I did is press F7 in a few times when when it was starting. And now we got it to work. Now it's working. So. I did not have to save you the trouble of watching it start, so thank me. So here we go. We are going to be doing a system recovery click format. Uh, yes. There's nothing really important to back up. I basically got this hard drive from a D51C. It still has its installation of XP Professional, so enough and nothing of value is lost. This is basically like HP's system recovery from 2002 because back then HP he bought bought out Compaq and it was basically a subsidiary until around. Uh, somewhere around the 2010s, I wouldn't say a, a probably 2011-2012, like, I'm not sure, but, at, like, they basically don't sell compact computers in, in North America nowadays. I think you could still find them in, in South America, I believe, I'm not sure. If anyone knows, please comment down below. So, anyways, we are currently recovering the setup files. What I like about this Softings recovery GUI, it's basically based on, on Microsoft's Windows XP setup, it, but this one kind of reminds me of Windows Listler, like X, the, the beta version of XP. The, except it's basically being around getting this getting your HP slash compact if you're recovered. So I'm gonna pause the video right there and let it do its thing. Okay it is asking for for the second disc and this one this drive open for some reason well, we are clear we are actually using this one. I can get it out. Apparently not. Okay, I got a pride with a paper clip. Now we're going to insert the second disc. Or not, who knows? Oh no. Oh no. This doesn't sound good. Okay, so apparently this DVD, DVD drive is failing, so I swapped it with a compact disc drive. And then it went boot from this drive. So I threw out a bunch of air, so we're gonna try this and see how it fares. So we're gonna have to start all over again. Wonderful. A few moments later. Okay, I think it should be food this time. Huh? There we go. Let's try this again. Formatting as usual. Okay. All right. 
I, I'll just let it do its thing again. One hour later. Okay, so I couldn't get that drive to eject, but thankfully this one is actually reading the disc. So, oh, so there we go. Okay, so this too is inserted now. I'm gonna let it do its thing again. Oh! So the power went out, out when I was away. Maybe because of a electrical surge, so I had to do this all over again. Gee golly, Please, nothing just ever goes my way. Two hours later. Okay, we are back on this tree. We yeah, are see. So, yeah, I'm just still gonna let it do its thing. 20 minutes later. As you can see, it's telling me to insert the fourth disc, so I'll, I'll do that. Here it is. And we'll just wait for it to recognize the disc. Sorry, I have some insane ducks. They just love to clack very loudly. We don't worry about them. Worry about the computer. <laughs> and it'll start copying files. It's for the fourth time. Uh, well, probably not the fourth time. Probably the. This is not the first time. I'm in out. Out. Get back to you when it's done. One minute, 37 seconds later. Now it's asking me to insert the final disc. Should be able to read the disc. And there it goes. Later. And I think we should be done. Yeah! So, we will now check the discs. And we should now reboot. And here we are, moving into Windows XP Home Edition for the first time. Now I'm pretty sure this is probably either RTM or SP1 because of the boot screen, but I'm really not sure. Because I think this gear was released somewhere around 2002. Service Pack 1 came out in September of 2002. So, it could either be either one or the other. Who knows. Anyways, it's going to start for the first time, as you can see. And I think it's gonna load into the uh, back to the out of box experience. What is this? Well, I cannot lose the mouse, so I'm gonna have to press enter. Okay, I don't know what that was meant to be. I hope it wasn't the the code purple error. Probably not because that wasn't, wasn't invented to until it was like I don't know the newer HP models, the HP compact models 
Yeah, this is an old model, so it probably doesn't have that. You should be loading. And my mouse is not working. Okay. I don't know what that was meant to be. But we should be booting eventually. There we go, the mouse works. And here we go. Thank you for purchasing this computer from Compact with Windows XP. I do not have any speakers plugged in, so you cannot hear the infamous Tidal.WMA soundtrack. But if you install Windows XP multiple times, you've probably heard this by now. Yes, I totally accept your quote-unquote end-user license agreement. And now we have to wait five years for the computer name to be set. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Okay, there we go. How will this computer connect to the internet? I don't have any... I don't have any LAN cables out here, nor or is there actually any internet from the, in the garage, no, it's like, which my internet is mostly in the house, it's, but whatever. No, I do not want to register, and who will use this computer? It's pretty obvious. And here we go. Ooh, cool savings at Hot Deals. I haven't seen that before, and this just this covers there's the picture. And okay, we're gonna gonna be be continuing the setup process. Okay. I'm gonna pause this because it's gonna take a while. Later. And it just restarted. Okay. I mean, no, it's not restarted. It's just about to. There we go. Rooting back up to Windows XP. Here's the welcome screen. And I just realized my phone's gonna stop recording eventually, so oh, I'm gonna be okay. okay. Sorry about that. My phone likes to like, shorten the maximum record time. I'm, I don't know why. Probably because I'm running out of space on this thing. But yeah, here's the compact wallpaper. Pretty sure you can change the color of it or at the in that style properties, I think. But yeah. Okay. 
Here he is. Uh, no, I do not want to set up an Ethernet controller. No. Okay. Alrighty, so it, it is RTM. So it's been set up and it's ready to go. So I'm gonna open my, the essentials. And unfortunately, because it's fortunately, I probably gonna have to patch it because it doesn't activate on computers that it uh, it doesn't actually support or the computer it's meant to be used on so I'm probably going to install all anti WPA or something I don't know why but I I meant to type 2022 instead I got 2002 but uh, whatever it's 20 year difference so here's the compact info center And it does have the graphics card. It means I can go up to this monitor's native resolution. But for the sake of this video, we're going to go back to it's to 800 by 600. There we go. And is there any other wallpapers that came with this computer? No, just compact sapphire. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it with this video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.